Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God and today I was looking back through some of my older videos and this one that's entitled Hurricanes, Volcanoes and Earthquakes Ravage You America Aftermath, Destruction, Invasion, Crash and then it has a dollar ripped apart suicide which was from a prophetic word that I received back on June 9th, 2022. I believe that these prophecies are becoming fulfilled currently, and I'm going to take you to some videos that support this of current events, and then I will end it with a Bible scripture, and I want everyone to make sure that you know that you are saved, that you that you have accepted your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into your hearts because I believe that we are living in the final moments. Here is the prophetic message that I received back on June 9th, 2022, and this was posted on June 10th, 2022. Now for the message received from the Lord God on June the 9th, 2022. <clears throat> Preparations are being made currently for the wedding supper of the Lamb. The festivities are being planned and will be grand for all believers to see and attend. You are at the end, my beloveds. I cannot tell Excuse me, I cannot lie or pretend something is so when it isn't. It is a momentous occasion, a reunification of sorts, a meet and greet, and a time to retreat away from the former things of this world. America as a nation shall be over with soon. It will be a free democracy no longer. The freedoms you still have will be soon done away with after the calamity strike. Hurricanes and volcanoes and earthquakes will ravage you, America. The aftermath of this destruction will leave you weak in the knees. None of your friends will reach out to help you, especially after the foreign invasion from both coasts. These invaders, they know your weaknesses. They will attack where it hurts the most. The financial systems will collapse and implode after these attacks. The American democracy will erode from within due to inflation and mismanagement of investment funding. The debt ceiling will rise higher and higher and, not, and with nothing or no creditors backing it, it will crash. That will be it. Your cash will be worthless. The dollar will be de devalued worldwide after these calamities. Steal your pride away, America. Many will commit suicide. Others will hide away in their basements in disbelief of their bankruptcy. It won't be pretty for many of the rich will be poor for the first time in their lives. The, des the despair and sorrow will be too much for them. Their hearts will give out. The great transfer of wealth will begin to happen. The righteous few will be favored by God. They will do his will and be the remnant bride who will bring in the great harvest of souls. A monster storm unleashing its fury overnight on Florida's Gulf Coast. Hurricane Helena, catastrophic Category 4, showing no mercy. Destroying property, flooding hotel lobbies, businesses, and homes. And submerging vehicles in oceans of water. <laughs> this is terrible. Helene not only bringing hurricane force winds to the region, but also a historic storm surge. And tonight, on top of all this, the threat of tornadoes. Violent winds up to 100 miles per hour slamming into Florida. Floodwaters sending waves over this highway in Tampa. And treacherous driving conditions with trees blocking roads and this boat completely shored up. 
Unsurvivable storm surge transforming neighborhoods with chest high water in some areas and homes completely flooded inside, leaving this man to take refuge in a kayak and torrents of water slamming into bridges as well, turning roads into rivers. All of it inundating towns right in the center of Florida's Gulf Coastline. I've worked here in this organization for 21 years. These are the highest surge numbers I've ever seen. And this moment lighting up the night sky, showing what appears to be a possible transformer exploding in St. Petersburg. The storm leaving more than a million customers without power across the region. Tampa General putting up an aqua fence in place to keep the water at bay, and it held up. In this backpack, I have some on Florida State's campus in Tallahassee forced to shelter in place. We're going to be away through the night watching this through the window. The overnight landfall of Helene challenging for rescue teams forced to save lives in the dark. As many as 40 people pulled from the rising water in Pasco County and facing dinosaurs conditions with one crew in Pinellas County encountering homes engulfed in flames. Anybody in your house? In Clearwater, the elderly helped to safety, being carried out by first responders. Once the winds start getting up to a certain point, we even have to hunker down. And extraordinary rescues captured on camera, like the Coast Guard saving this man and his dog after his sailboat capsized off Sanibel Island. And we're back out now live with the damage here in Perry, Florida. Emergency management officials up and down the coast are pleading with Floridians this morning to please stay inside of their homes. Hi folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is Thursday, September 26, 2024. Thanks to one of the citizen journalists in our community. I got a heads up about a mysterious odor that's been lingering in southwest Washington state. College Emergency Management Services began to field 911 calls from residents about a smell around 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, according to a statement. The smell, according to Collette County, seemed to have drifted through South Kislo, Rose Valley, Clama, and Woodland, and... Cumbia County before it hit Portland, Oregon. The source of the odor and what the odor is or was are still unknown and under investigation, Collitz County wrote. A couple of theories have emerged in the hours since the smell was first reported, according to the county, including volcanic activity there at Mount St. Helens. Also, ship, train, highway, transportation leak, or even a, maybe a, a gas leak, industrial chemical leak, pipeline, or natural gas. And like I said, even my, Mount St. Helens and ground movement. Complaints have varied from unpleasant odors to minor health issues. All agencies continue to work on the situation, according to Collitz County EMS. Collitz County EMS checked the Cascadia Volcano Observatory to see if there was a connection between Mount St. Helens and the reported odor. Some residents have even wondered if the source of the odor is tied to Mount St. Helens or volcanic activity in some way. Given the sulfur smell that people have described, and no known origin at this point, as well as the widespread sensation. I'm wondering if this could be volcanic in nature, one user wrote to uh, the National Weather Service. Magnitude earthquake has hit the Malibu area. We want to turn now to meteorologist Dirk Verdorn. Uh, and Dirk, actually, we, we initially heard 4.7, but now I'm seeing reports that it may have even been a 5.1. Hmm. Yeah, the latest, I was just looking at the USGS map and they had 4.7, but that's the thing, when you have these earthquakes like this, the numbers that are thrown around are going to change. And so, again, the initial report was a 4.7 magnitude, and as you mentioned, it may change uh, from the initial report. Uh, this happened at 
728 this morning, so not that long ago. And then there was another smaller quake, a little aftershock of a 2.8 that was at 7.30 a.m. You can see the location. They're just to the north of Malibu in the Malibu Hills. You can see just to the north here. And you kind of can see the faint outline of where the uh, these are uh, the taking place. And again, you can see the bigger circle. That's where the 4.7 occurred. And then there's a smaller circle, and that's where you have the 2.8 that occurred. And there's probably going to be some more aftershocks as we go through the morning, and we'll get a clearer picture of the uh, actual magnitude as we go along as well. So that's the latest here. Now back over to you. With Ukraine, now and in the future. U.S. President Joe Biden announced more than $8 billion in additional aid to Ukraine during a visit by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to Washington, D.C. We have a strong security agreement with the United States, and we are grateful for it, and we will fully implement it. The aid will include the first shipment of a precision-guided glide bomb, a medium-range missile that gives Ukraine a major weapons upgrade. It will also provide the country additional air defense, unmanned aerial systems, and air-to-ground munitions. Mr. President, can you bring it to this wall? Of course we have to. Now I saw when the lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures saying with a voice like thunder, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a white horse. He who sat on it had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature saying, Come and see. Another horse fiery red went out and it was granted to the one who sat on it to take peace from the earth and that people should kill one another and there was given to him a great sword when he opened the third seal i heard the third living creature say come and see so i looked and behold a black horse And he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And the name of him who sat on it was Death, and Hades followed with him. And power was given to them over a fourth of the earth, to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beasts of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then a white robe was given to each of them, and it was said to them, that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were was completed. I looked when he opened the sixth seal and behold there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became like blood and the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man, hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, 
fall on us, and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand?